All right. Does anyone want to do a quick recap of what happened last time? Oh boy, recaps. Yes. Uh, last time we all began our ridiculous quest to uh, enter a mall in the middle of the night like teenagers. Uh, Alexa, ah, Celine uh, <laughs> snuck in by hiding in the shrubbery, and Ivan snuck in by mailing himself in a box. Everyone then filtered in. Uh, Lucian and Joshua both made it to the uh, guard room through the vents and have taken it hostage and wiped the information. Ivan has made contact with a strange shadowy creature that appears to be controlling mannequins, but the shadowy creature doesn't want anything to do with Ivan and does not speak. Uh, Celine has gone on a little bit of a rampage, forming claws, killing mannequins, and almost killing a security guard. But Ivan has interceded. And now, at the last moment, Joshua has warned them, the shadowy creature is on its way. As the camera goes out. And Lucian went off to keep an eye on the security guard. The one that's trying to hobble a wing. Well, he's pretty much in, pretty much in the catatonic state at the moment. Not wanting to have anything to do with any of you. But, yeah, so... I think we're going back with Ivan and Selim. What? Um, so, I guess, yeah, Celine is back to normal-ish, but um, we, the, we defeated, or I defeated a second mannequin. I'm going to ask Ivan, you know, what do you need to do here? What do I need to do here? Right. You must have come here for a purpose. I can help you complete that purpose. Got not only all the shuffling security guards just shuffling and make while trying to get back to the security room. You yeah, know, I mean, I know he's trying to get away with yep. I'm also not facing him because I gave up trying to escort him to keep Celine at bay. So, um... I can bring him to the security office. I promise I won't touch him or eat him. Or you know what I mean. I mean, I was here investigating. That's as I assume why you were here. Despite yeah, my warnings. Okay, point noted. Um, I'll bring him to the security office. If the thing is coming back, be careful. The thing doesn't want to do anything with me, so I'm not worried about that. Um... Do me a wit so called minus two check just very quickly. Okay, but I, I mean, I want to remind you, storyteller. Yep. That we literally were touching one another and it didn't want anything to do with me. So it's not just yeah. something I'm saying. Yeah, true. But yeah, just, I mean, well, yeah, just, just do me a wit so called. No minus. Nothing. Yeah. So just roll two more dice. We mean roll two more dice. Yep. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have uh, oh, imposed okay. impose a penalty. One success. Yeah, you got a success. You're pretty sure he is go only going, unless you interfere with it, it's probably going to attack living people. Right. Only living creatures. The Renekin valve seems to have no problem with kicking your butts. Well, I already know that they're connected. They're like puppets on strings. Kind of. Marionettes, one might call them. <laughs> well, no, because we already inferred all this. Remember, I have it all recorded on my phone. Yep. So, um, Celine is going to get to the security guard, say, I'm here to help. We'll get you to the security office. Take my hand. What? Just focus on the security office. I'll yeah, put my yeah. Armor, armor around his shoulder and help him. Thanks. You know, come on, Why we're almost there. Let's keep going. 
What the fuck are you doing here, by the way? Don't, don't worry about that. Let's get you to the security office. We need to get you to the security office, and she'll just keep repeating it. Yeah, I wasn't... Ugh. Um... What's... Uh, Ivan, where do you go from there? I mean, I'm not facing them, and I don't think I'd move. I think I'd probably, like, looking at the floor just to consider my position now. Because I know I'm not mm. in a good way. I have no more willpower. I've spent all of that. I'm yeah. starving, which means I can't trust myself. I'm We're just at a very so. difficult impasse right now, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to mesh that into the character and say he doesn't know what to do. Um, as soon as I get the guard to the security office, I'll sprint back to Well, Ivan. no, because you're going to do me a wits perception roll minus... Uh, how many twos does it have? Uh-huh. Minus, minus, minus. No, not you, Warmer. Stay back. Uh, once again, I forgot to open primary book. Here we go, droid problems. Ah, uh, minus three. Me? Yep. Okay, what am I doing? Just rolling to see if I can spot something? Yep, perception minus three. Which okay. computer minus And you kind of help the guards sprinting towards the security room, which is only one floor um, below it. And about the time you came across the staircase, because well, the elevator are clearly not working at night, and it's not right now. Uh, you feel something cold, very cold behind you. Okay, I'm just going to ignore it. Keep going. Uh, sure. Do me um, dexterity athletics check, please. Can I add my specialty of acrobatics? Mm, no, because it's a reflex. Uh, you, like, instinctively, as you feel this coldness behind you, with your beast nearly takes the control of you and you just strife to the right, um, grabbing the guards as you see one second later, like even less than a second, a shadowy hand where the guards just used to stand. And the guard is like, oh fuck, it's here! Just go, go, go! What do you do? Do you release him? Do you. I will let him go. I mean, I'm not going to hold him back. If he knows where to go, I'm going to let him go and I'll turn to face whatever is chasing him. Well, you see this cute fellow. Like, it's a silhouette of someone in shadowy stuff and just, just walks uh, as a girl miserably shuffled through the stairs. Like, fuck, 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 fuck. It's clearly not interested in you, but it seemed very interested in the guard. Well, if he has a tangible form, I'm going to try to tackle it to the ground. Um, hmm. You're not sure it's tangible, but you could try. Okay. Would that be a brawl? Yeah. Uh, no, minus it doesn't intend to... It doesn't intend to fight you. Well, you try to grapple him and or just get a good punch in his face and 
you can see that you just because it's even if you're a vampire, it's still dark, and the thing is fucking darker. It's like it's not easy to make out where it actually is, and you just miss your punch by by just an inch, but you see the shadows just accelerating towards the guards and ends reaching in front of him. Um, I guess I'm going to take, I'm going to sprint to the guard, take his hands and then just sprint as fast as I can, dragging him away. All right. Do me a strength athletic check. You manage to grab the guard and he, you yank on his shoulder and cries out in pain. Uh huh. Oh fuck, you're right. Uh, mm, I must have forgotten to write them down. Uh, so you yank the security guy. You manage to arrive near the security room, and you can see that. Well, what do you actually can see, guys? You can see Selin progressing with the guard towards in the monitors. Do any of you do anything to help her? Or uh, well, we see this all the monitors. You say yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought I thought they were like going staticky, but um. Some of them uh, are, but uh, not the not those near Selene. Not now, at least. Well, I am still uh, shaken by this thing, and I don't necessarily want to be there, but I mean... You're shaken at the same time. You're if I remember correctly, your chicken is kind of um, not in troll, but... Uh, uh, I don't know, yeah, you're, you're frightened. Right. So I don't necessarily want to, like, go downstairs and, like, punch it out or anything. But, uh, I'm gonna look towards the, uh, guard that I've, like, been cowing this entire time and just kind of go, You! Give me your keys! Come on, quickly, quickly. Well, like, yeah, sh that, Cool. Do me he gives you his keys. Alright, Lucky. I'm gonna go downstairs. Um, and at least with, like, some small, uh, knowledge of the layout of the mall. Uh, would there be, like, sort of a second floor balcony to kind of look down at, like, what's happening here at the first floor? Yeah, you can see what's happening at the first and ground floor. There's a large okay. balcony in the center where there's a big elevator to go from zero to third floor. All right. Uh, you have trouble seeing Celine as you should. You, she's not, she's near, you know that, but um, probably have to run down through the staircase because right now you're on the same side of the stadium it's kind of sh over right. shaped so i got a little bit of a run ahead of me but uh that's basically what i'm doing right now i'm trying to get to a uh, second story location looking down on all this sure and uh, selling you see is lucian doing anything yeah, I did say that Lucian was, as before, he said he was going to basically help keep an eye on the guard that Ivan let go. All right. Uh, Celine, you soon see Joshua with a key card and a pair of keys riding towards you. Um, you think you have, you don't have out front the thing, but you have a bit of a lead on it. Um, I'm going to uh, yell out, we need to get him to the security office now! What, that thing you're chasing? Don't speak, just get it, the door open so we can get him inside, let's go! Uh, so... Uh, Joshua's gonna go ahead and, like, click the radio and just kind of go, Hey, Lucian, get the keep the door open. Someone thinks coming. Uh... Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. 
<laughs> Oops. Um, but either way, we're just going to keep... I'm going to keep Oops. dragging him. You weren't forward. meant to see that. Just ignore it. Okay. It's all right. Uh, as you take out your radio, you can hear a static. Uh, as your walkie-talkie clearly doesn't seem to function right now. You can both do me a perception check. All right. No that is wits and composure. Uh, I do not reroll tens still because I am still obsessed with The Witcher, but it doesn't yep. matter. <laughs> <laughs> and I am in pain, so I can't focus. Uh, Joshua, you can see like the smiling head of a mannequin peeking um, at the corner of a wall that it seems to just have came out of a clothing store. It's You don't know if it's looking at you, but it's a smiling head of a woman. Joshua, of course, is going to just whip around with his nail gun and point it in that direction and go, Oh, no, you don't, Hellspawn. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, uh, he's, he's not firing yet until he like is sure that it's moving, because... I don't think he's quite noticed the mannequins yet, because they keep getting static it out. Huh. It doesn't move. But... Uh-huh. Mm. Do me... a composure roll. Oh boy. Composure in anything? Yep. So just composure. Uh, no, actually, you are a vampire, so resolve and blood potency. Composure, blood potency. Composure, blood potency. Here we go. Zero. Oh, well, it could fail. It's unlikely, but. Yep. Oh, damn, you weren't. Well, ignore we'll just wait. So, it's as fine. you stare at the mannequin, you can just you just begin to imagine a whole army of those things just waiting around the corner. You can see, it seems to peer into your eyes, and it's making you very, very, very uncomfortable. You get the spook condition towards the mannequin. Oh boy. You are kind of captivated by her at the same time as you're revolved and. I don't know what this is all about, but I kind of want to figure it out. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So let's see. She's almost beckoning you to just. Come and see for yourself what's happening. Not over. To terrify. Celine, so you don't see anything as you just see like Joshua standing still, looking uh, in some yeah. direction. I'm focused on getting the guard into the safety room. It's not. Um, you can see it actually. It's like uh, maybe a hundred meters, not very far. Okay. And the door, though, seems to be strangely reinforced for just a security cam room. You're pretty sure from your expertise, because you are a crafty person, after mm-hmm. all, you're pretty sure it's airtight. Oh, wow. It's airtight. Yeah. Not bulletproof or anything, but specifically airtight. Not sure why. There is also a um, secure, uh, card security lock. It's an electric lock. Oh, well, in any case, I'm going to <laughs> just keep yeah, pulling him as quickly as humanly possible or as I can to the door. We have to get him there. Um, it's not really, it's not really uh, hard. The hard part is uh, the door has been 
close behind Joshua, who's still staring into God's know what, and you still need the key card. As you, the guard just say, Fuck, where is mine? He fumbles through his uh, pockets and just let's see if. I'll see if I can like try, try to find it too. Oh, what? No. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, he finds it. You okay. he just. Ah, here we go. He... Okay. I'll pull the as soon as it's as soon as it's like okay access granted. I'll pull the door open, throw him inside, and slam it shut. And ma- maintaining a modicum of uh, professionalism, he will say, J- "Just go inside." Like, and as you push him, like he is the one saving you. And when the door is locked, he will just go. You see Lucian staring down a guard that's clearly afraid of Lucian. And he seems to like, as he see the other videos, Jerry, you're okay. Oh, thank God. And you says, God, yeah, I just need to sit down a bit. I got a nasty blow to the head. Um, Joshua, what do you do? You see, All right. you, you see, uh, like, you just, as a human reflex that you still have as a young vampire, you just blink for a second and you see that the mannequin has changed position. Just she's inverting you with her arm. Okay. Aaron he's in, kind of talking a beginning gesture. He's kind of like approaching a little cautiously. He saw like the nail gun up, but you know, his his arms are shaking and he's not exactly uh, a fighter or anything here. He just kind of, as he's approaching, like saying, "So, what are you? Can you speak? Come on, say something." Um. Yes, Ivan. Can you make a dexterity craft? Not craft. Mm. To shoot things properly, what would you need? Let me see your sheet. Yeah, do me a dexterity computers. Ah. Dexterity really? computers, type as fast as you can. You manage to do it, Ivan. You manage to see it, and it's one floor up of, above you, and you're fairly far from the thing, but you can see the whole scene. All right. And the mannequin doesn't respond as you come near it, nearer and nearer. Do you still... He'll sort of uh, keep a few feet distance and then start uh, basically doing some side steps to like, see around the corner first before getting too close. Hmm. As you do that, do me a dexterity athletics roll. Oh boy, I think that's a thing this nerd does not have any of. <laughs> yep. Uh, which brings him down to two oh. dice that don't roll 10 again. Well, it's alright because it failed miserably too. Uh, as you try to shimmy around the corner to see if there's more of them, uh, the thing jolts into life and just rushes towards you, but. Whatever it was trying, it flays its arm endlessly at you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, roll your initiative. Oh, boy. Am I able to intervene as well or no? You have no idea what's happening. You see that some of the security cameras are flickering on and out of static, and once, once near... Um, the security cam room are down for the moment. Can I go to find Joshua again? Um, would ago. putting myself in danger resolve spooked? Um, yes, you do, Ivan. And sorry, yeah, Griffin, this is. Because of the action that screw you up, so you resolve spooked. 
Okay, cool. I will take a beat for that then. Yes. All right. It looks like it is still faster than I am, though. It is, and it's going to make a strength bro. I got three um, defense. Oh. It's going to spend upon a willpower. It doesn't have much, but it really wants something out of you. Uh, you can roll strength bro, and you need to be two successes. Oh, wait. Oh, so he managed to like, successfully hit me? Uh, you need to roll to see if he... Oh, god damn. Two ten in a row. Um, to see if uh, it actually overpowers you. It definitely does, and instead of whatever terrible fate, um, you think it's going to maybe torture you, push you through the blister, and you will fall to your second death, but instead you just snatch your key and the key card and runs in the opposite direction back into the darkness. Shit, I've been robbed! <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> Um, Celine, you opened the door just as you were Joshua swearing for that is being robbed. Ivan, you can see where it where it disappeared into one of the actually into a series of corridors. You could track it if you want to, but you know what happened when you had too close to them. I'm definitely gonna try chasing it down. Well, what's your speed, Kido? Ooh, probably not enough. It is 10, actually. Huh, that's pretty good. Yep. It's chasing, so... I'm going to do what they do in One Wolf, and we're going to both roll our strength, uh, our speed. Uh, so I'm just rolling straight the amount of speed I have, or...? Yep. All right, so that's like 10 dice. All right, how many sixes? One, two, one, three. two, three, four. No, you've well, you've got a ten in there as well. Uh, yep. I am not allowed to reroll because I love nope. The Witcher too much. Oh no, I'm talking yep. to the storyteller. Uh, <laughs> no, it's already rerolled. Oh, you got the exclamation mark! I didn't see that. Yep. Mm -hmm. You quickly lose it into the darkness of the mall. Wait, come back! That was mine. How am I going to rob people without that? Damn it! Uh, uh, no, it took the key card and the keys out of you. I know, I needed that. Oh yeah, that. sorry, yeah, you needed that, you horrible, horrible person. Selene and Lucian, what do you do? Um, do we see that his key card got stolen? Uh, you just... You just saw a flash. Yeah. There's still a flash of something flesh colored just running. Like, you think you saw an arm or, or two? Uh, okay. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, change the door code. Invalidate the, the key code commands. Change the door code now. You can oh, see what? that the one. You can see that the guard had no help at all. You... Lucian botched one of his role with. The one's just in a fetal position in corner. Not actually a fetal position, but sure, he says he's, he's super out of it, scared yeah. of the nose right too. And the other is like, like yeah, the key, the fucking... And you see, begins to try to focus in all of his brain and to... Yeah, he's got a concussion, so he's... Yeah, yeah he's trying to focus on that. I will go to the door and basically hold it shut. <laughs> Joshua, you see Celine shutting, shutting the door. The mannequin wasn't running to that door, was it? Not that you don't think so. No. Hmm. It could have taken a. Well, could be anywhere. So Joshua is actually going to get onto his thing, and he's going to go ahead and uh, talk on the radio. Go, hey, beautiful, check the cameras. You. The red you actually work this time. If one of them's out, that's the location it might be. We need to change the, it. 
I don't know. Did it take your card? It did, and the keys. When it needs to, sh- we have to shut this off. It's going to come back here. It's going to bring it to that shadow thing, and they're going to come back here. We have to sh- change the codes or something. I will uh, hold the door shut. Fine, I'll run back. Give me a second. Uh, Celine, if you look at the monitor, you can see that several cameras are on and off. And do me a perception check minus one. Because you're not really focusing on it, I think. You want this door to keep this door closed. Uh, you think you spot Ivan? He seems to be all right, at least. Uh, um, okay. I'm going to fish out. I, I guess all I can really do is um, to hold the door shut. Because if the th- if the thing comes back and tries to open it, it's gonna come back in here and kill everybody. So uh, Joshua was making his way back. If there's plenty of time for that, uh, he definitely approach, knock on the door, like uh, send a message to the radio. So I, like, yeah, I would need. Uh, hmm. Huh. I would need to speak with just one of you. Do we have a private chat? No, it's a different purpose of... Um, you can well, do I mean, instant message over... Yeah, I will whisper something. I was going to say, I could drag myself in there as well, but... Ah, uh, you could, actually. Well, who do you want? Griff. Me oh, and boy. you. Um, hold on, let's see what channel's not going to get used by anybody. Oh, that was in Warhammer. Be general. Oh. Oh yeah, techno now. As you come back uh, to your, you've run quite a bit, at least for you. Uh huh. And you see one of the mannequin, um, undressed, and there seems to be knocking at the door of the security room, and you hear your own voice speaking. Hey, beautiful, it's me. Can you let me in? And I want you to, well, I want you to say it when once you're back. You can okay. try anything, you, but it's gonna be more effective. If it's you, the player. Uh, would say you it. like me to like uh, continue improving off of that? Uh no, just say this phrase before saying anything else. Say it's me. Hey, beautiful, it's me. Can you let me in? Uh, I'm sorry. Say, was the first part of that? Hey, beautiful, it's okay. me. Can you let me in? Gotcha. Okay, I got it. Cool, we channel. can go back. Yep. We uh, good? Joshua, you came back and Celine, you hear a knock on the door. Hey, beautiful, it's me. Can you let me in? Um, I'm going to check the cameras. Mm, the cameras is near the door is down. I can't let you in. It repeats the same phrase. Hey, beautiful. Can you open up? Let me in. I can't let you in. You know that. It knocks. Hey, beautiful. Let me in. You can knock the show if you want. Okay. Uh, She won't respond back. You can... or, Or no, she'll say... You know this, and you'll do this for me. You feel that the knock can no longer... You can hear the kicker being slide through the door. And you can feel a pressure. Uh, roll me your strength athletics as you try to get the door. Okay. Well, this adds my vigor to it. Yes. It's also their big old dice pool. <laughs> oh, they're crap at it. Oh. Hey, you manage. It's a tie. Uh, just, um, in just that try. case, um, yep. I am going to, I guess, burn a point of uh, Vitae to use my ex- enhanced strength I'll to hold it shut. I love it. You're not coming in. And you need to roll two di- two more dice. 
it's what burning a point of vitae allows you to do. I still tie. And what do you mean you were burning uh, vitae to do something that was, vigor allows? It was, activa it was Physical activating activity. the vigor. Yep. To keep oh, it you, no, wait, you're activating vigor. I thought yes, you were just using. That's what I was saying. Oh, that changes everything. You. Oh, just a second. Jumping back and forth some PDF. Uh, figure. Rip the door off the hinges and throw it at it. <laughs> no, it's pulling it shut, so. Mm -hmm. Grip the corner of the door and bend the metal so it'll never open again. Mm -hmm. uh, did you add your dots of figure as a bonus? Yeah. Already. All right. So it's still tight, but you can feel your muscle, like the blood flowing through your dead muscle and pumping in your dead veins and your strength. As you can see, it's barely, it's barely enough to just keep the door shut, or at least, well, if not shut, it's not moving right now. And uh, Lucian and Joshua. And Ivan, for that matter, what are you free doing? Am I anywhere near the door? No. Uh, you you can hear, you heard this sentence being said over and over. But I mean, I can't hear them like yelling back and forth. At, uh, you can hear Celine yelling something about no, not going in. All but right. it's I'm going to over. make another bad call. I'm going to spend a Vitae. Mm-hmm. And blush of life. Oh. All right. And do you try to f follow the sun of the source or the shadowy figure? Or... I mean, I guess I kind of have to because I'm. My intent is obvious. I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I guess the closer I would get to that, the bigger of a a target I would be, which is the point. Um, hmm. It's gonna. It's gonna use. It's gonna try to find you. I feel I'm a man of limited what? means, but at the same time, I'm using all the means that I've got. Wait, it's not right. Shouldn't have. Yeah, I rolled what? zero. What? Oh no. Well, it looks well, like they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, no stats can... means dead. Yep. Um, I'm going to roll manually. Huh. You... As you approach the staircase, you see, again, the shadowy figures. It's stuck for a moment as you approach and begin to turn back and seem to look at you. I'm of course recording this entire time. As you approach the staircase, you see that your phone is getting a bit uh, more and more static. There must be a mannequin in the floor just top of you, but you manage to recall the shape just fine. Joshua, what are you doing while all of this is happening? Oh, uh, well, last thing someone... I remember doing was trying to head back to that room. Yep. Uh, is the uh... the mannequin is still here, trying to push the door and oh. staying over and over with your voice. Say, beautiful, can you let me in? And uh, this is the one that stole from me, isn't it? Yep. All right. So I'm gonna pull out my gun and I'm gonna go ahead and try to shoot it from this distance and go. Ooh. That ain't yours, it's mine. Uh sure. Right. It doesn't expect you to show it. Mm -hmm. So you, no defense for me. Oh uh, well it doesn't get defense anyway because it is a firearm, but it is a nail gun. Mm, Would you no, like to declare a damage for it? Uh it is a nail gun, so it will be one lethal. Plus one lethal. One lethal. Uh okay. but uh it does get defense for firearm. 
Ooh, Usually. wow. Yeah. All right. It's not fucking none around. for this particular role. Though. None for this role. Um, I'm going to put in willpower because I don't like this thing. And I'll throw a Vitae on it too, if that's okay. And guess it. Yeah, you could you could do that. It's dexterity firearm, so yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Eleven dice, one success. You see that one of the male Wait. just um, there's as you fire there. There's a no, nope, yeah, it's just one. <laughs> yep. That comes out to two damage. Yep, you shoot that in, and you see the nail just barely piercing the back of the head of the mannequin. It doesn't seem to really be super effective, and you see it stop and just turn his head uh, like exhaust style one. Uh, <laughs> Shit! One hundred eighty degrees. It's smiling at you, but um, you can see it's still. The end is looking at you, but the rest of the body is still trying to open the door. Lucian, are you trying to do anything? Yep, yeah, did say earlier on I was gonna go after this security guard, but Ivan, let go. Have I finally found him at least? He's in the office. Yeah, he's in he's in the office with you, recovering from concussion. It's trying to do something with the. Computer, and you're not sure what. And... Hmm. I guess it's time to try and intervene. I guess. And also, yeah. Ooh, how do I go about it? Okay. Okay, first thing first, I think I will try to get the thing's attention. It clearly has your attention and its strength, its best to force open the door to the room in which you are hiding. Okay. Right again, is this a shadow thing or is it a mannequin I'm facing? It's a. Um, you don't know. Camera is not working. The door doesn't and have a window. Selling... <laughs> nope. Do I and have a keyhole see... I can peek through? Mm, there is no keyhole. It's a... Also, I imagine Selene is probably taking up a lot of the doorway just by trying yeah. to hold it shut. <laughs> Yeah, it's like she is. Change the door code. Change the door code. I'm trying. She's yelling Come... at it. Uh, uh, Lucy. I'll try and also help with a door code as well, since I'm decent with <laughs> relatively decent with computers. <coughs> yes, solution note. Uh, you did come in through the air duct, didn't you? Yep. That's still All open. Right. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly jam that shut then. How do you jam the air duct shut? Yeah, you know I'm saying as a well, sort of cap, well, an office cabinet I can use to stick under it. Sure. Oh, okay. I guess I was imagining a ceiling air duct, and I guess you're imagining a wall air duct. Yeah, no, it's a ceiling thing. Not so. You came from the ceiling at the guard. Yeah, oh, this ca yeah, I'm gonna block it with the office cabinet so it, nothing can get in through there. Like I said, I think, I think, uh, as is imagining like uh, Deus Ex, like the vents where you could crawl in through the floor level, and what we're apparently describing is a ceiling vent, like in a real life building. <laughs> well, we were able to crawl through yeah. them, so they are big. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but he's saying Mother putting a cabinet against it. And then it's more yeah, like yeah. you're describing picking a cabinet up and putting it inside of it. If the cabinet's tall enough, it can still be used to block a, a ceiling vent. Maybe. Yeah, it would have to literally be a floor-to-ceiling-sized cabinet, though. You, you do you! 
Um, all right. Celine, you feel the kick out slide again and the thing mm -hmm. pushing and pushing and pushing. I will not budge. Well, better help out as well. Well, it's a bit too late for that for this turn. Turn, it's not combat or anything, but for this roll at least, you can roll your strength athletics. Oh god, it's not good tonight. Bad rolls. Uh, it also doesn't help that I'm injured, so... <laughs> yeah, doesn't help. And Lucian, I said for this roll, no help. As you're busy putting off the... Doing what you're doing with the cabinet. So, yeah, you can feel that you gain the upper hand and you manage to close back properly the door from the thing. Okay. It's, you can hear it's still trying to slide in the key card. It doesn't seem to be doing a great job at this. And you hear the guard say, fuck, don't code, don't code. Uh. I'm going to, like, so the guards can't hear it, but I'm going to kind of hiss through the door. Um, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to rip your your arms off your body. It would be a very intimidating trick. Treat uh, threat, sorry, if you remember that the door was airtight and probably soundproof. Oh, sure, but I'm just gonna hiss it at the <laughs> under my breath. Not, not soundproof enough door. that someone knocking on the door and talking on the other side can't be heard. Oh, uh, yeah, no, my bad. Well, yeah, but that's more vibration than it is. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Sound is vibration. Yeah, no, but I'm saying that if you hit a metal object, you can hear the vibration right, on the right. other side versus a voice which has to travel through the air as a mm. medium. But then again, you're not sure. I don't know. Even for all I know, this thing is sentient, so. Yeah, if all you know, it and is. It's certainly not following the rules of law, <laughs> of like natural law. So. That's, that's, a, well, that's, a, that's a point, exactly. though. Did we not talk about this? You and that's me specifically? Racist. That's racist. You do not you do not follow natural law too. It is very offended and well, it's specious. going to leave the premise of the mole. Racist and specious <laughs> are two different things. That's specious too. <laughs> um alright. Ivan, you see the shadow just walking towards you and stretch. And stretch, you said? Yeah, to like it's he is trying to reach you with its end, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Do you allow it? Yeah, I'm curious. It begins to touch you. I mean again, I'm only faking being alive, so I don't know what actually happened. <laughs> Begin to touch you and it's very cold. Even more so know that you have a bit of body temperature go your body temperature rise off the bit for the blush of life. And it seems to just listen to your heart for one or two seconds with its hand. And then you feel its end going into your body towards your heart. It's fucking painful. And you can take to do since you doesn't you you're not defending yourself. Am I right? Right. Uh... <coughs> 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 oh, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one with a nasty, uh, with an unpleasant cold. Oh, it's fine. I was fine one hour ago. But you can take one... Um, yeah. One aggravated damage as you feel all the pain in your body just condensing through your heart and going into this thing's end. Oh, all my Vitae? No, the Vitae you used for the Blush of Life. Oh, I thought so you said all my Vitae. Like, what, yeah, all, all of one of it? Act all yeah. one that I have left? Yeah. <laughs> And once it does that, it retracts its, its end. 
and then it looks at you, you're not longer under the blush of life. Well, I'm still moving. Hmm? I'm still moving, and I've also just learned that it can pass through solid materials, so... Yep. But it doesn't seem interested in you anymore, as it doesn't feel any life in you. Yeah, but it just means I can't trap it anywhere, because it can just walk through anything. Seems so. Right. Which means that that room isn't safe. Which is weird, because the guards think it is, and they've been here for a while, so there must be something different about the room. I've seen the room. Is there any chance I could possibly piece anything together? You're not very sure. Also not very smart, but I'm hoping that wits yeah. will get me through this. Uh, no, it's a small matter of intelligence right now, because you... Well, can I make a roll? To... Yes, intelligence occults, please. And I've got no will. So, I mean, no will. I've got no willpower. <laughs> got no will. One success. Mm, you're not sure it actually... If it had the ability to go through solid material, as it seems to be, it must cost it something, because you didn't seem like... could have chased the guard and you through the different walls and doors, but it didn't. So that must not be something he uses all the time. Or maybe he's not able to. Oh. Mm. Also, you're not sure if this room is special. You remember one of the ghoul talking about sacred geometry or something like that. Maybe that has something to do with it. Fuck if you know. Okay, Actually, I would right? like to use my free use of Auspex. Sure. Um, shit, I can't remember what it was called. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Uncanny Perception. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, second level. Sure. Uh, do you roll? One success. Well, that's one question for you. <laughs> Tell me if this is an appropriate question. Mm -hmm. What is this personal vulnerable to? <laughs> um, hmm. You can hear the sound of crackling fires and wood. What you see, you in your vision, there are red pieces of wood sh painted, uh, red painted wood shatters before your vision, like someone uh, smashed an object. And the door was paper. red. Yes. Okay, so clearly it is. That doesn't make sense. Blood is red. <laughs> Maybe you see a red door and you want to paint it black. I can't remember what band that is. <laughs> All credits, everyone. Uh, but, no, I mean, that doesn't make sense on a fundamental level. Why would it be going after living creatures in blood if it can't stand blood? That'd be as stupid as making a Mel Gibson movie about creatures that can't stand water invading a planet that's 75 to 80% water. What? Uh, who would that's... make a movie like that? I don't know. It must be some sort of sign. What a twist that would be. <laughs> no, it'd be horrible. And we'd probably that's... not like that filmmaker for a long period of time afterwards. Uh, that's your impression of your vision, but you clearly saw someone smash a red door. Alright, yes. well, looking around me, do I see anything that's red? No, it's all dark, all the doors are closed. You see one or two red things like... It's a mall. Red, red. <laughs> Is there not, yeah. like, a giant, you know, of a of any storefront? Yeah, there is. What storefronts um... am I standing in front of? Yeah, there are red things in it, but... No, I'm saying what than... storefronts, though. Give me, like, specific oh. store types, if not names of stores. Uh, yes, there is an IKEA, so it's... Uh, Did you... uh, it's a... What? Did you say IKEA? Yep. There's an IKEA in a mall? I thought they had their own buildings. Nope. Okay, well, to... anyway, is there a clothing store? Yes, there are several. Okay, can I get into one? 
Uh, well, you don't have a pick lock, but most of the door are, um, most of the door are glass, but some of them are, uh, damn. I mean, I will break uh, glass if that's necessary. Yeah, but some of them have bars behind glasses to not, you know. Look, what is it called? Not, um, all I'm yeah, trying like to the get. Yeah, like the security gate that goes Yeah, down. I understand, yeah. but. Ah, an iron curtain behind it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like the Soviet Union. Not all of them, though, so some of them <laughs> do. Uh, I'm just trying to good. find a very large red blanket. That's all I'm looking to find. Ah, uh, you can... Yeah, you can find one in a clothing store, like, on the... Um, you can see many colors in... Could be a drape. You could make a drape out of the dress. Or dress... Out of a drink? <laughs> yeah. But sure, you can easily find something red. Yeah, but I'm looking for a blanket, blanket sized object. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can find one in the clothing store, like big uh, sized red, red dresses. It's not really uncommon. So... Not a dress, though. Blanket sized <laughs> object. All right, I'm gonna roll one d ten. Oh come on! I have to be pretty in a red dress. And you do not immediately find anything red. All right, well then I'm gonna keep moving. Moving. All right. I'll be Pressure. in the background then doing this. Uh, do me a wit perception roll for uh, let's say five minutes of finding your you mean composure red drape. Hmm? Composure? What's composure? Oh, yes, sorry. What's composure? Two successes. All right. You're going to find your thing, but, you know, not um, not immediately. So Joshua, the head is still staring at you while bouncing at the door. What do you Good. do? I'm glad I have its attention, because I'm going to tell it to... Leave the door alone in a very firm voice with Dominate. Huh. Huh. Not even work on it. I don't know. Let's <laughs> find out. Shall I roll? Um Which level of Dominate do you use? Uh I only have one. Is the ah. one that will make it mesmerize and follow my forward command. Yes, it's gonna it's gonna be a rule against its resolve and well, it's not and gonna any be crazy stuff it has. Yeah, but it's not its mind control. It's not its forte. Okay, well, I'm feeling ah, funky whoa. and fancy free, so I'm gonna throw a willpower on it. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. Yep, you better do. <laughs> I better. Uh, let's see how it goes for me. It's a tie, so Clash of Will, we reroll uh, uh, Blood Potency plus your Discipline, and it's three dice. Uh, so just roll three dice straight? Yep. Wow. It does not care what you command it. Alright, on the Clash of Wills, I feel my will break against it. Like, uh Ah! If it could, you probably would think it probably sh would flip you off, but it's currently, it sounds like only busy trying to open 